Good morning, everybody. So I was speaking for almost half hour and I was not recording. So today is Thursday, 8.06 a.m. Eastern Time. So let's do a very quick market morning call to see the levels, the importance, the levels, not, you know, in the end, the levels will provide us the movement. So as you guys see in the dark pool spreadsheet that I posted to you guys yesterday and the comments that I did uh, before markets opened yesterday, the delta, the delta still show strength below 4,339.10 will be weak, we, we supposed to be we, uh, see weakness and above 4,345.8 we supposed to be so strange. The DIX drop almost 1%, so they remove a little bit of liquidity, not in major, it's still printing higher at 49.5%, but in another hand, the GX jumped to almost 5 billion. So market today tend to show as a unidirectional movement. So Delta still showing as a gap up. Uh, you see, as you can see in the option, in the dark pool uh, SPX volume yesterday, was really, 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 really low. So seven, uh, almost $800,000 in, in put premium versus 774K in call premiums. Very low, very low. No million dollar orders printed yesterday. Very, very low. However, so 39.08% of the call premium was assigned in 4,345, 4,340, 4,350 contracts. And in another hand, 23.72% of the put premiums was 100% concentrated in 4,320 put strike. Okay? If you check the premium, how much they are paying right now, for those that, you know, bought yesterday at 12, they are already up more than 200%. Also, if, if, you, if you check on last month, 26 of the last month, somebody bought 4,325 calls. 1,400 contracts, but per uh, $6.55. This person is already up 77.95%, almost 100%. So this 900,000 is already above $1 million, right? It's almost $1 million. So you guys are already observe that so far, the calls are paying big premium. So it's totally normal to see the Delta you know, showing us a gap up at the, uh, 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 a gap up at the open. Totally normal. Give time to them to close those calls and start to buy hedge. If CPI come, you know, uh, above, I mean, above expectation, right? So give, you know, or at least accordingly, you know, the expectation. So give, you know, time to market to go up, allow them to close those, those uh, calls take a lot of profit of, uh, uh, from the market, and we could see, start to see a downtrend. Because the premiums that you already have. I also put over here to see big volumes in those call contracts, 4,345, 50, and 40, you know, at the close to yesterday. And now, big volume. I also put over here yesterday, yesterday and highlighting the group, the jump in price volatility. Yesterday, yesterday, so print 10%. And at the close, for today, jump more 10% and print 20.11% in play volatility. If you check the book right now, it's already jumping more 10, 11% because now it's 31%. Okay? It's really higher. It's really higher because before it was between 10, 14, 15, 15 and now we uh, print 30% in play volatility. Now we need to check, oh, so far the future is indicating what Delta indicated to us yesterday. So the VIX is already uh, flat, totally normal. Why FIB is totally normal? Because the GX is really high. It's 4.8, it's 4, it's almost 5 billion. Okay? We already checked the levels. I already show you guys the weakness is strange. So I also highlighted the options book. But now let's talk about a little bit about... Imply volatility. Even I put in blue a maximal target 4306, 4365, just because put 10 points spread more for those that bought those calls. And those calls indicate, you know, a possibility to back test 60, 58, uh, and it's already up 200%. So totally makes sense. A gap up, give time to them to close and back test those regions as a maximum, 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 maximum. Okay? So, but 
Higher implied volatilities are already jump 21% compared to uh, as yesterday. With higher Vega, any adopted change in the implied volatility, especially started at 4,345 and go up to 4,365, tend you know, to burn premium in some sites. Since we have 5% you know, higher in, in 4,345 up to 4,350 compared with the put, I mean, call is 5%, implied volatility is 5% higher compared with the put. If you start to see the markets going up, the implied volatility of the call contracts tend to be to going down, and consequently, the put uh, tends to go up with higher, higher, higher Vega. Tend you know, to add deltas in, in those regions and consequently delta decay, decay sub, supposedly print in call uh, contracts, consequently burn premium in the call contracts, and also vice versa. Okay, and also vice versa. If you know you do like a bullish analysis and we start to see a drop to change in the put contracts, you know, the premium will start to move up to 4,360, 4,365. Consequently, I put in blue because in my analysis, in my region, in my read is the maximum target for me for today. Okay? Something, you know, between 4,300 and 4,365. But I highlight, highlighted 4,380 yesterday to you guys in purple. If I'm wrong about those levels, we have gas up to 4,380. Okay? Okay? Pay attention in those levels. But... I'm my read is that we start to see a rejection at 4,345. And if you go up, you be just a poor squeeze, allow, allow made makers, dealers to sell higher. Okay, to sell higher. My read is 4,365 because Delta is still showing strange. Those contracts that people bought is already up more than 200%. So totally makes sense, you know, to see a gap up, back test at least 4,306, 65, or well, start at 58, and then the market start to reject that region. Okay? Máximo, máximo, 4,380. As a highlight over here. Major support, 4,320. Also, as you can see, regarding 4,320, that's also correlated with the JP Morgan call, because they sold those calls. No, folks, they are not neutralizing deltas right now. They have a plate of time because the call just expired in the, in the last day of this month. Consequently, the delta decay supposed to be working in their favor. So they have a plate of time to unwind or not to unwind, sorry, to neutralize delta. They are not doing this right now. Okay? Be careful with those analysis. But, of course, other dealers will play their region and force... If, the, if those dealers want, and force you know, a delta neutralization uh, in the last day of, uh, of the month and bring markets more higher. That's another possibility, but you'll be only in the last day of the month. Okay? So, 4,321 now makes sense to be the biggest support. Not only because the JP Morgan. But we, saw, we still print, you know, big orders in that region. Especially this one that print on, print on 60. They, 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 those, this guy knew. Or this guy, this dealer, was responsible for those squeeze on Friday and yesterday at 11 a.m. Because they bought 4,300 call, $4 million premium, by $21. And his guy is already up 144%. The current break-even is 4,353 for those that bought 4,300 call yesterday. Okay? So, 4,321 tends to absorb the market so far. Tend to be the major support. Okay? Losing 4,321, 20, the door is open to lose 4,300. Remember that yesterday, where was the strength region? 4,305 up to 4,310. So, losing 4,320, those regions still strength, but start to be more weakness than more strength. Losing strength, what do I mean? And lose 4,305, dollars open for 4,295. Okay? But, you guys understand the option book. You guys already understand, you know, the implied volatility jump 
you guys understand the premium, how the premium is being paid so far, uh, the call and the put allocation per percent uh, regarding the premium, the GX jump and the DIX drop, so tend to see a unidirectional movement. And now let's review the gamma by Gamma Lab and to compare with my levels, 4,375, see, a call all, a lot of gamma exposure, 4,375, 4,320, 4, also, there's a huge, you know, gamma exposure over here, puts a war burn, remember 4,305 that I said, start to see a weakness, because before 4,305 up to 4,310, strange, yesterday, and 300, 300 and four, uh, four, 305 weakness yesterday. So you guys can see just, you know, start to be a weakness at 4,305. Dot is up into 4,295. But puts are, uh, was burned 1.2 billion dollars in gummies exposure. Very good moment, you know, to take out the money that, you know, players put in the casino to play. Because higher, higher, higher gum exposure. No hedge, market is you know, running out, out of the red. Positive gamma, limitation of release by weakness. Okay, so far 4,320, losing 4,305, 4,295. Okay, gamma flip at 4,230. Okay, so, so almost 100 points far away from where we are right now. Guys, pay attention in the levels. Pay attention to the levels. Don't go against the flow. If your market starts to be trade, you know, in a strange region, don't try to go short. Wait, you know, to flip for a weakness region per deltas. And then, you know, set up a stop in the beginning of the strange region. Because, you know, they could be flip flop to get impulse to go higher and vice versa. Okay? Guys, take care. Enjoy your day. Be careful, pay attention in the levels.